What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to install and set up the advanced booking calendar WordPress plugin so we can have a booking system into our WordPress website for free like this one that is already integrated and present on our hotel WordPress team downloaded from visualmoto.com website in this video series that I think I will make in three separated videos, we're gonna learn how to create a page just like this one with the booking calendar on it so your site users can book some appointments or hotel rooms into your website. Everything for free and from WordPress without coding needs. For this guide, I'm gonna be using one free WordPress plugin that I enjoy that is called Advanced Booking Calendar. There's a lot of plugins in wp.org, so you can choose the best one for you. In this case, I'm gonna be using this one, but in a future video, I can explore any other one that you like. So feel free to share your thoughts into the comment section. So first, we're gonna need to install this plugin. So go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, and into the search field, we can type advanced booking calendar or simply booking calendar. Here's our chosen one. This one is more focused on hotel rooms and accommodations. So if you are looking for appointments, I recommend you that you will find another plugin from WP.org. After installation, click on activate blue button. The WP is going to redirect you to the plugins page. Here is the plugin active and running the latest version. And if you have a look into the left side of your WordPress dashboard, there's a new button called Advanced Booking Calendar with a couple of options. Let's start exploring the settings of this plugin. The very first one is the email. By default, the, the plugin gonna get the administrator email on your website. So your business email. Now, the page with booking form. This we're gonna create later, so no need to worry by now. So we're gonna need to go back to this settings page previously. The very first option is send copies to guest mails. I recommend that you set is enable on this option. Now you can change the currency, the price, apply custom CSS, change data formats booking dates, cookies, Google Analytics, I do recommend that you enable this as well. Powered by link, no need for it, just in the case that you want to give some credits to the plugin developer. Delete data if, if install the plugin, I do not recommend it either. The commit usage, cookies, and the export settings, in the case they are moving to another website or you want a backup. Now. I simply will not set an email because I'm a local host, but please set enable in the email, the very first option next to the email. Now you can check the booking form settings, the email settings. The user can receive an email to its inbox. You can edit the text. Here are a couple of short codes that plugin generates. For example, the checkout date, check-in date, the name, the first name. Feel free to edit, but no need to do that. Just in the case that you want to do some extra things. Now, cache on site. And on invoice. If you are using a pro version of this plugin, because there's no free launch, you can have integrations with PayPal and Stripe. 
but if you are using free, you can receive the money directly into the hotel room. Now, the text customization, the language that you will call by default your WP language, and share a lot of things that you can edit the text in the case that you want. This is excellent for translation and extra description in the case that you think you need it. But no need for it. Let's go for the defaults. Now, decision and calendars. This is the most important part of the plugin setup. First of all, we're gonna need to add a new calendar that can be, for example, the name can be the name of our hotel. Let's imagine that you have a small hotel with 10 rooms. And this is the room number one. No, no, no. I think we need a better title. Hotel one. We have on this hotel 10 rooms. A variable to booking. And persons per room, you can find five persons. The price, 50, I think it's enough. The minimum to stay present. It's very common in sites like Airbnb that you need to book two nights. But I think one is enough. You need to set one. I will not do that in this both options. So we can see. Here's an informative page. This is really good. Let's imagine that you want to share more details about your hotel and do a link for it into the form. In this case, you're gonna need to create this page previously and set up here. Let's imagine that the About Me page is our extra information page about the hotel. Now, the short information text. Nice room with a view to the sea. As you can see, now, before save, we need to set a number. So, one and one. And here is our calendar. I'm gonna create more calendars and more rooms in later, but let's just start with this. Now, the season. Let's imagine that there's a um, summer season on your hotel and your price go higher at this period of the year. So you can go higher. You can set the summer, when the summer gonna be and assign it to some rooms automatically. So when it came some dates, the booking calendar will update and upgrade the prices automatically. Here's our seasons and now seasons and calendar assignments. Now we're gonna link our season to our calendar. Our calendar is the hotel one, the season is the summer, and you can set when it starts and when it gone is gone. When the finishes. According to the place that you are in the globe, the summer can be in different dates. Where I'm actually located, the summer starts on December and and can go to January. January. And here we go. When it comes to this date, the price is gonna rise to the summer of season prices. Now, we can apply some extras. For example, if the, if the visitor wants to have some extra internet speed on this room or some babysit some special kind of food something anything extra that you can apply into this room for example cable tv some special books clothes you can apply extra options so the user can book and you can prepare previously for a better accommodation. You can set the explanation, the name, the type of calculation, once per night, per day, per person. 
according to the thing that you choose, is the thing that you need to edit. The price. If it's a mandatory extra or not, I highly recommend that you do not add mandatory extras, but it's up to you. Now we're gonna explore the analytics. And as you can see here, we have 60 days of data. After plugin usage and other things, you can see more information here. It's very useful for hotel owners and business owners. And finally, once I always know, or once I always say, there is no free lounge. So we have more features into the pro version. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And subscribe to our channel for more videos at this series. We're gonna make three videos. So this is the first one where we did the plugin setup and a presentation. After this, we're gonna apply the booking calendar to some pages and customize it. And it is all the best. I see you later.